Chris Kanak. I come from Naples, Italy. Uh, and so I brought some of my smaller stuff, some of my more unique things. Like I've got my main thing here are the wheel gang, the wheel thugs that I've got going on. It all started, I want to say, back in 2014 with Carmine Wheeler. Uh, that was the first one. And then I built these two, uh, the, the Gasket Twins, as, you know, kind of minions for them. And I figured, why not, why not expand on this more? So I made uh, Dozer, who is uh, more of a, more of a construction-y guy. He's more of a brute. And then I made Clutch Davidson, who is uh, motor, mo more of a motorcycle. So even though he's got one wheel. Um, then back here is Ozzy the Ostrich. Actually, I actually showed him off at my first Brick Fair in 2013, so I figured why not bring him back? It's Brick Fair's 10th anniversary. Uh, Pylon I built a while ago around Christmas time, um, and I really want to integrate the light things with power functions, so it's just light with a battery. Uh, Reacher I actually built on Thursday after I bought a bunch of parts on Wednesday. So I just, you know what, I liked him, so I, I registered him and I brought him in on Friday afternoon. Uh, Zartan, I built around January, February-ish. I wanted to incorporate the Shadow Trap uh, pieces from Bionicle as hands so they can open and shut. He's more of a statue, he's not that poseable because he's just really compact. And then uh, I made this more of a system robot. I wanted to experiment around with the Mixel Ball Joint system and try to like, armor up a frame or a robot. And uh, the turret is completely articulate. It's got hinges on the back and then it rotates so you can get bunch of poses from it. Then my last mock is Core 4, who's another robot who I want to work together into a story with Reacher. And uh, he's just, you know, time hopper, kind of. So, yeah. Those are some great builds. I particularly like these ones we've kind of built off the wheels here. So talk about the techniques you used to achieve that. Yeah, so um, I'm going to take Carmine because he's the more exploded one. I kind of built off of a triple axle piece in the center. Right there, so I threw on a couple of Hordika necks, and back here I've got a ball socket uh, to really like uh, attach different parts. I then I threw in um, the Mari tubes, the or just the tubes that they introduced with the Mari sets, like as eyebrows, and then the Mixel eyes, which those are the only options for the eyes. And I tried to give each of them a different theme. Um, then the mouths all come from a topic I found on Eurobricks, so I just printed out uh, different mouths and I stuck them on there, and it worked. So I ran with it. And so you brought these over from Italy then. What was that like, uh, kind of bringing those over? Did they all survive fine? They look yeah. like they're pretty strong. I, uh, I disassembled all my stuff just because it would be easier to transfer them, uh, transport them that way. Uh, so I disassembled it, reassembled it over the summer, and then I just brought them here in a duffel bag. But yeah, they all stay together pretty fine. That's, uh, that's one of the things that I really like to focus on is stability and durability. So, okay. yep. Yeah. Well, very impressive. Thanks for showing us your builds here. Appreciate it. My name is Camden, and this is my custom Generation 3 Broak for Bionicle. I originally made a Generation 3 Broak on the website called Scratch, a free coding website. Then I did it out in real life, and it turned out into this Broak. I used the Hero Factory brain piece as the Krana, because I believe that looks a lot like it, and it has the same details. So there's this one. You've got several cool builds on display, so what are some of your favorites here? Well, the Brawlhawk is my first one in this generation, I think. And this, the ones, the Wakshi heads are like the Mask Hunters. This one is Manteon. I got, they sound like Pokemon, but they're not. I got their names from the two animals I based them off of. So Mantis and Scorpion. Now this guy is Toa Leon, or former Toa Leon. He is the Toa of Wisdom. He is the eldest of the three. So there's Toa Mari, who is the Toa of Hope, and there's Toa Zeno, Toa of Faith. So this guy has an infected look. How half of him is like the four screen and half of him is the black. He knows about the species, I forget what I named them, but he knows about the dark species. But he didn't know about the bird, which to control him. That's why he's infected. And finally, I have, well this one's kind of small. This is just like a tiny wahi that I made. That's a made of pure evil. And then finally, here's my self-mock. Vengeance. 
It has a longer backstory that I probably can't explain all at once. But pretty much his name, he got his name because his team betrayed him in some mysterious force. I tried to make him have like an aether type element, that's why I used like all the maroon colors. Eventually this was supposed to be like more maroon, but I ran out of this maroon color, so I used gray and black for like armor and the, was the skin. And these are like the aether energy things that are coming out. Yeah, very impressive. I love the backstory on these builds here and the, the way you were able to use those bionicle pieces and make some great custom builds there. So thanks for showing those to us. Appreciate it. Also, this is like similar to the original design to these guys. These were originally like supposed to be Wakshi Knights, but then I kind of took them apart and turned them into this. 